<coughs> hola, hola, me llamo Lord Beteto, en este es... <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's me, Lord Beteto. I just tried to do a whole Spanish video to see if everyone just gets confused of this. But no, uh, not doing that. Uh, I forgot almost all my words, but yeah. Um, so this is what if Naruto was the son of Kasami. And um, even if I probably even did a Spanish video, I feel like everyone would have like hated on the video because no one else probably knows Spanish or something. I don't know. If, I don't know if some of my viewers are just American and or probably from another country. I don't know. I mean, I know Drip Model by legit putting. A bunch of Japanese words in the comments and he's confused and um, then I switch it to German and Russian and then he's lost it's funny so yeah drip model if you're seeing this yes I'm gonna keep just you're never gonna have a normal uh, talk with me I'm legit just gonna be talking Russian or German to you in the comments and, uh, so yeah, uh, so let me do a recap on what if Naruto was the son of Kasami. Also, before I continue this, I should tell you about what happened today about my test. I passed the math portion, and then my reading portion, I fucking felt. No, I'm just kidding. I was close to passing it, but yeah. Um... But yeah, that's all I just wanted to ask. Uh, not ask, but tell you. Since, yes, I was talking about how I was fucking nervous yesterday about a test. I barely could have sleep. I, I only slept for like six hours and then I wanted to wake up. And then I was nervous again. Anxiety kicks my ass most of the time. I'm so happy I passed that math portion. I fucking <laughs> she just lost without fucking pencil or paper. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't want to mention much more things, but yeah, um, back to the what if, I should just not annoy you with my, uh, life of me sucking at taking tests, but yeah, I think that's almost everyone, I can, I can probably say that most of you really just don't like taking tests, who agrees with me, uh, let me say that again, who agrees with me that almost all of us just sucks at taking tests, or just saying in the comments, I don't know. But yeah, let me do the what if now. Okay, let me do a recap. So, what happened last time was Naruto and... No, yeah, let me... Uh, no, no, no. Let me start from the beginning of the recap. So, Kushina f uh, fought against the Seven Swordsmen. Uh, Kisame and Kushina had a drunken time. And they went... Bow chicka <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. And um, then Kushina and Minato, they got married. They sort of had fun um not really trying to say the word but yeah i feel uncomfortable saying it um but naruto was born naruto had blue hair and what's it called those fish scales not scales scales i don't know what it's called but naruto was born the villagers really didn't hate him donzo tried to like say he was the nine tails they all thought he was just talking out of his ass again they really thought that uh, what's called Donsa went senile, but not really. Uh, but Naruto, he trained his uh, what's called body and all that, and the villagers are much nicer to him than in original canon. Naruto also trained himself knowing what elements he has. He has water, wind, lightning that I said last time? Yeah, lightning. Water, wind, lightning. Mostly his water is a high infinity. And I'm going to say it's higher than uh, the second Hokage. I said it was similar to the second Hokage, but it's higher. Yeah, it's higher water infinity. And um, because both his parents are basically very strong water. Oh, I mean, let me say that again. Water infinity users. Since one's an Uzumaki and the other one is basically one of the swordsmen of the seven and he's looked like a fucking fish. So I'm guessing he's strong at water. No, I'm just kidding. I know he's strong at water. At water jutsu. But yeah. <clears throat> um so Naruto he's so yeah, uh he trained for a long time. 
for the academy he didn't like show much attack some girls kind of fangirl over naruto and all that naruto really could care less about the fangirls same with sasuke uh naruto has beat up sasuke sometimes in like the fights and all that so they became sort of a rival but when it was the final uh, academy days and all that the final test uh, at 12 years old, Naruto just whooped Sasuke using water, no wait, yeah, water stream, rock smashing fists. Easily whooped the shit out of him. Also be, just kicked Kiba out of the way since Kiba was being a little shit about it. So the teams were almost the same and exactly as canon, just that Naruto had Sasuke and Sandara. Sandara was a samurai who came from the uh, iron country from her like mother's side but her father's side was a uh, shinobi sort of he wasn't much of a strong shinobi but her uh, but her mother's side was a very strong samurai user i don't know if i have shown you how she looks like but i don't remember if i did that uh naruto yeah i'm just gonna go uh naruto sasuke managed to beat kakashi and uh I know I'm taking a little bit of time about doing this whole recap, but I'm sorry about that. Um, but they also did the whole C rank mission with Tazuna, uh, Zabuza. They didn't really fought against uh, Team Seven and all that. Team Seven and um, because Zabuza saw Naruto, and Naruto just looked like Kisami, just a like mini version of Kisami, and uh. So they really then fought because Naruto also had the last name of Uzumaki. And uh, Zabuza actually has Haku and Hakin. Hakin's the younger sister of Haku. So that's a thing. And so they had to go back to the village. Hakin was was put in on Team 7 for another teammate and all that. Haku went into a tuning uh, team, team and all that. And Zabasa had it to be in probation because he is a rank, a uh, like, was he a rank missing ninja or something? Not missing ninja, rogue ninja. I can't remember. But yeah, he just they put him on that. So the tuning exams were happening. So yeah, I should also mention that Kuranai's team Saskara, she was put on sus on like. No, no. No, I don't wanna, no, not Karen Ice Team. She was put on, what's it called? No, she was put on Karen Ice Team because she uses Genjutsu. So yeah, uh, Sasquatch put on Karen Ice Team and all that. With Kiba, uh, Hinata, and, uh, sh why, why do I forget his name? I'm, I'm, for some reason I wanna say Shinsu, but I'm thinking of, What's it called? Uh, Shinso from um, the Gia. Or was it Shin? Shinso? Oh my gosh, I'm just getting lost with these S names half the time. Sorry about that. So yeah, um, Naruto. Well, not Naruto. Yes, Naruto. What am I talking? So. Sorry, I'm sorry, just a little tired. Just kind of woke up after a little nap. And so yeah. But. Not enough yeah, about rambling random shit. Uh, so Naruto and his team are now going to tuning camps. So of course, same thing happens in canon. Except for Rock Lee coming up to Team Seven and trying to talk to uh Sasuke, cause Sasuke is not on their team and all that. But uh, what's it called uh, he still wants to fight against Sasuke and Naruto. Because both Naruto and Sasuke were sort of put as the team rookie. Well, sort of. Because they still had the same sort of skills. But even though Naruto was way stronger than uh, Sasuke. Yeah. Just Lee wanted to fight him because uh, Sasuke was in Uchiha. And Naruto was just the rookie of the year. I should have said that from the start. So... Sasuke said, nah, I don't want to fight you, uh, whatever, brown, uh, nah, what am I talking about, uh, big, fuck his, like, eyebrows and all that, bushy eyebrows, like, Sasuke was like, nah, and Naruto, he was like, sure, I fight you, and, um, wait, 
so yeah, Naruto, he is, like, about to fight, uh, Rock Lee, and Rock Lee just goes, okay, only Taijutsu, and Naruto says, sure, and, well, Rock Lee charges at Naruto, and Naruto already hits him in the stomach with the water, uh, stream, rock smashing fists, and Rock Lee tries to, uh, hit him again, uh, like, behind, but Naruto already hits him, like, in the stomach again, and then in the face, and multiple times in the face, and the and all that. So, <sighs> with that happening, uh, Rock Lee kind of just fell down after so many wounds, but he tries to do the whole thing. But Mike, uh, Mike Kai comes and like slaps Rock Lee for trying to do that uh, secret move and all that, the uh, forbidden technique or whatever they said. So they started crying and all that, going, Rock Lee, my guy, Rock Lee, my guy. Or was it Sensei, Rock Lee, Sensei, Rock Lee. And Naruto thought this was a sort of retarded scene to just see. And, um, ki not Kisami, I should say, uh, Sasuke, Satara, uh, Satara, uh, however I say that, not Satara, uh, uh, son Sabra, yeah, Sabra, and, um, uh, Hawking were just saying this is a Genju, so release, 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 release. <laughs> and it wasn't a Genju, but yeah. So, Nanji said, what is your name? And Naruto says, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. What is your name? Nanji Hyuga. So, of course, they all go to the uh, academy, not academy, the uh, whole test. Because Naruto can see the Genju and all that. And all of them can see the Genju about the whole fake door and all that. But they go towards the uh, real one. They get in, and both Sas uh, Sasuke, Ino, Sasuke, and yeah, Ino Sasuke just jumps and screams, Sasuke. Actually, I shouldn't say Ino because Ino really kind of didn't have much feelings with Sasuke, but she and she instead said Naruto, and um, both Naruto and Sasuke kind of cringe inside. Sa Sabara kind of just looks and say, God damn it, fangirls. And Hawking was just confused. She was like, so Sabara. Uh, is that the name that gave her? I don't know why I said Sarara. No, Sabara. Saran? Sa Saran? I don't know what I call her again. But, yeah, she just didn't want to deal with the, uh, what's called... Ah, fangirls, like, foolishness, trying to get into, like, their teammates, yeah, pants and all that. But Naruto could care less, so he went to go sit in his, like, own spot. This Kabuto came and was saying, I have all this. And Naruto said, okay, give me, um, tell me about myself. So, Kabuto searched up the name and all that, and it didn't say much. Naruto Uzumaki, uh... Blue hair, blah blah blah, and all that. Also, I should mention about whole uh, what's it called Ka Kakazu? No, not Kakazu. What am I? No, not Kakazu. Uh, fuck. What? Why did I forget about him now? Tamari and uh, Konoharu and uh. Oh my gosh, fuck. Kankura was like. So I should mention what happened to Kakura, Konohama, and uh, Tamari. Naruto in this one really wasn't much with friends with uh, Konohamaru. Instead, because he wasn't much of an... Uh, Naruto wasn't the same in original canon. Instead, Naruto took his training serious with like water and interest and all that. So Konohamaru and Naruto really didn't meet that much. And so it never happened with the whole Kankuro, um meeting Naruto and all that. Or, or Karnahamaru. So, Naruto, he is now just in the whole testing room. Uh, Ibiki comes, tells him about the test, blah, blah, blah. Let's just skip the test. Because Naruto, he kind of just didn't want to try at all. He felt like he didn't want to try at all. But yeah. So, we skip there, and Uncle comes and does, like, break through the, uh, window. And, um, 
she tells him that I'll go outside, it's time for the death forest. So let me skip what the uncle said. But Naruto this time was paying attention. It was Hawking that wasn't really paying attention. She was kind of scared of the death forest, sort of. Because she wasn't really on many missions with Haku or Sabuza on dangerous missions. But yeah. But Uncle notices through a kunai for Haki, but Naruto caught it. Naruto caught the kunai from Ashi trying to hit Haki. Haki could have dodged easily, but Naruto just caught it. And Uncle just like caught it because she was angry at the fact that Naruto just caught it, even though it was kind of going towards Haki. And Naruto he grabs the kunai, puts a little bit of water, like water chakra in it, and throws it back at Uncle. Uncle catches it and um what happens is she catches it but of course she feels like there's something wrong with this kunai and um so what the water kunai does to uh what's called onko is nothing much it just it does cut onko's hands a little bit more than it should have done but onko Bernie notices, but after she notices, she kind of gasped, but then the, um, she said, okay, everyone go to the things or whatever, and everyone goes into the death forest, but Uncle was shocked, Naruto is kind of a little too skilled to be a Genin, and, um, Naruto, he is now going with his team to go find a, uh, what's it called? Another Genin squad and all that. So they managed to find a Genin squad because Naruto he puts his finger up to his like face and sends for anyone, and he managed to find the nearest team with the moisture around them. He sends his people with moisture. That's a sick uh, what's it called six sense. Then just his other senses. So. Naruto finds them and then, well, goes to uh, get them. So he tells his team where they're at, and it's just this rain team that Naruto saw and all that. The rain team just like has this umbrella and other things to attack them and all that. Like the umbrella uh, is about to like shoot arrow, not arrows, uh, needles from the sky and all that. But Naruto wasn't taking much chances of these people. So what Naruto does is uses the near lake. Yeah, they're kind of near a lake. The uh, three um, rain uh, Genin. Naruto jumps on the water and creates hand seals. Or not, yeah, not hand seal. Hand signs to shoot out three large water dragons to attack the rain ninja. Of course, one of, one of them managed to dodge. The other two just got smashed into the ground. So that one that managed to dodge got frozen also by uh, Hawking. And yeah, Hawking just freezes him using some ice. Ice juices, but she doesn't know many. Because Haku, her older brother, really didn't teach her much. But yeah. But Hawking managed to freeze him and all that. And, well, the guy that was frozen, he had the scroll that they needed. So what Team 7 had was the scroll of heaven. They just needed the, the scroll of earth. And that's what the team had. So they decided to go to the, uh, what's it called, the tower. But a snake came and tried to attack them. But there was something different from just attacking Naruto. Naruto actually made a shark. A, since they were underneath some water, because the trees were like over some water, Naruto managed to create a water shark to come up, to come up from the lake, or should I say, yeah, lake, pond, or whatever you like to call it, from the pond, and just crush on the snake. The snake poofs away, and Naruto notices, and he read a lot of books about summoning creatures. And he knows already who this summoning um, person in is who summoned the snake. Ochimaru from the legendary Sonic. Naruto already read on this. And so of course Naruto then says that 
we got trouble from a sawning. We all gotta run. So of course, Naruto and everyone just runs. Of course, uh, Orochimaru found them, and Orochimaru was like, "Where do you think you're going, guys?" <laughs> and Naruto says, "All of you run. I'll try to whatever distract them and all that." So all of them runs because Sasuke already knows that Naruto's strong, but he doesn't know Naruto can defeat what's it called Orochimaru. But Naruto, he just says so. You're Orochimaru, the legendary Sonin, aren't you? And then Orochimaru looks like, How do you know already? Naruto says, I'm not stupid. The only one who can actually summon snakes is you. And uh, Orochimaru is like, Damn it. Huh, you pretty are smart. But, I wonder if you can survive. Naruto says, No, I can't really survive this, but I can keep enough time. From me away from the Uchiha. And Archimaru was like, So you already knew I was after the Uchiha. No shit. So, of course, uh, Sasuke, Sa uh, Sabato, what did I call her? Oh my fucking days, I forgot her name. So her name is Sayed, and I don't know why I keep thinking of Sadara from uh, what's called Maruto. Uh, so, Naruto, well not Naruto, Sasuke, Sayana, and Hawking are just running. And Naruto is about to fight, what's it called, Orochimaru. And Naruto pulled out his sword already, so the little, what's it called, sword that I showed you last time. That blue sword and those daggers. So, of course, these aren't really going to be his main weapon. Because I already have a weapon on mine, what I'm going to give him. No, it's not going to be semi Hari. Probably not, because that's his father's sword. So, I mean, yeah. But, I have a sword in mind, what I'm going to give him and all that. Don't annoy me that I should give him uh, semi Hari from, uh, from his father's side and all that. Or Zabaza Executioner Blade, or whatever. I should also mention that... I forgot to mention that both Naruto and Zabuza were training in Kenjutsu. And Naruto, what he learned from Kenjutsu was a lot of things from Zabuza. Of course, not much things because Naruto has a very short sword and not a long sword like Zabuza does, like the Executioner. But Naruto learned a lot from the uh, sword master at least. So, Naruto, he runs at... Uh, what's it called Orochimaru and throws his special kunai at Orochimaru. Orochimaru just thought the kunai were just color, so of course Orochimaru grabs him, but he doesn't know that they are basically kunai that can activate a water prison on the person that grabs the kunai. So but of course Orochimaru grabs both of them and says, "You really think that will actually psh, water happens?" And Orochimaru was like, mm, 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 mm. and Naruto says. See you, sucker. So, of course, Naruto just... Instead of running away, he said I have to defeat him somehow. Wait, maybe if I... Yes, that should be. So, Naruto goes into a mindscape and says, Hey, uh, Ninetales. And Ninetales, uh, Karama said, What do you want? I need you to give me a little bit of chakra so I can put out my sword. So I can definitely slash up at the snake. And then he said, fine. So Naruto, his eyes, instead of being blood red, they are sort of kind of darker blue. For some reason, Kurama can't really, um, like, add that much chakra towards, uh, with Ka. Naruto, because Naruto's chakra isn't necessarily, like, normal blue. It's sort of a darker blue color. And with Karama's chakra, it kind of gets darker. So, of course, Naruto's eyes, instead of being this blood red, uh, uh, what's it called? Blood red. It's a dark blue with a slit. It's, um, it's still Karama's eye and all that, but it's just different. Mostly like a shark eye, should I say. 
But Naruto's like, what's it called? Fish gill, gills or whatever. They kind of get bigger and all that. And, um, Naruto's teeth, of course, get sharper and all that. And Naruto, he puts a lot of water chakra on his sword, but also puts lightning chakra to combine both of them. He found out he can manage to combine both of them. So, of course, the sword was just crackling in water and lightning together. Making storm release. So yeah, Naruto managed to make storm release on his sword and all that. Instead of being like this blue color or like water around it, it's sort of dark, like sort of dark water with like purple lightning around it, or like dark shade of like color with like purple lightning around it. And Naruto just runs at Orochimaru and just. Slices at Orochimaru. Orochimaru is still stuck in the water present, but when Orochimaru saw this, he couldn't dodge. He couldn't do anything. He gets just slash, and Orochimaru just had to use so much chakra to escape, because that was the only way for him to get out. Naruto gets tired, but of course he still has enough time to run to his team, and Naruto gets to where they are at, and um. Naruto just says, hey guys, and they said, so what happened? Naruto and, um, just Naruto just says, oh, well, I managed to deal with him. Manage. I didn't manage to actually kill him, but I managed to deal with him, and he escaped. So, they said, okay, they go into the tower, and this is where I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep, and potato, potato, potato. So, adios. Before I go, uh, let me do one thing. Okay, I was thinking of showing you what kind of sword he was going to have, but I'm not going to do that. It's better if you guys like think of what kind of sword I'm going to give him. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an OC sword, I should mention. And not one of the actual Seven Swordsmen at all. So yeah, so Naruto, he now, well not Naruto, what am I saying? So yeah, so I just say, I'm just going to leave it off here. So yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep, potato.